This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So in the first line of our input we are given the values of n and k. So the first integer is n and the second integer is k. And after that in the second line we are given n integers as input. So first our task is to create a new string of size k with all the characters initially set to 0. So I am creating a string with 5 zeros because k is equal to 5 here. So this string is actually a binary. So this is a binary representation of a decimal integer. Our task is to toggle the bits present in this string. So we have to toggle the bits using the values present out of these n integers. So the first integer out of the n integers is 2. So what we have to do is we have to toggle all the bits from the second index. So currently the binary string is 5 zeros. So from second index we have to toggle all the bits. So these are the bits present from the second index. So after toggling all the zeros will be updated to 1. So if the bit is a 0 we have to change it to 1. If it is 1 we have to change it to 0. So this is toggling. So the second integer is 1. So from the first index we have to toggle all the bits. So we have to toggle all the bits because we are starting from first and we have to toggle all the bits. So the first 0 will be updated to 1 and all the remaining ones will be updated to 0. And now the third integer is 3. So from third index we have to toggle our bits. So the last three zeros are the bits and all those zeros will be toggled to 1. And then the fourth integer is 1. So again from the first index we have to toggle all the bits. So 1 will be updated to 0 and the 0 will be updated to 1 and the last 3 1 will be updated to 0. And then finally the last integer is 4. So from 4th index we have to toggle the bits. So the last 2 zeros must be toggled. So the last 2 zeros will be toggled to 1. So this is how our updated string would be looking like. So this is actually a binary representation. And now what we have to do is we have to find the decimal equivalent of this binary expression. So that is our task. So to find the decimal equivalent we have to convert this binary into decimal. So wherever the bit is 1 we have to add power of 2 with it. So when we are iterating from last at the index 0, 1 and 3 the bits are 1. So we have to add 2 power 0 and 2 power 1 and 2 power 3. So that would be the decimal equivalent of the given binary expression. So here we can see that 2 power 0, 2 power 1 and 2 power 3. So they are the places where the bit is equal to 1. At remaining index the bit is equal to 0. So now let us find the decimal equivalent. So 2 power 0 is 1 and 2 power 1 is 2 and 2 power 3 is 8. So when we add all these the integer obtained would be the decimal. So 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 11. So in our output also we are printing 11. So that would be the decimal value for the given binary. So similarly we will also be solving our sample input too. So here n is equal to 6 and k is equal to 7. So first we will be creating a new string with 7 zeros and after that using the n integers we will be toggling the bits. So after toggling the bits for every n integers we have our updated binary string. So we have to print the decimal equivalent of it. So that would be the output. Now let us see how to write a C program for this. So first I am creating 3 integer variables n, k and x and the next line I am accepting the values of the integers n and k and after that I am creating a new integer array named bin which represents binary and the size of the array is k. So now this we will be storing the binary representation in this array. So initially all the integers in the array must be equal to 0. So to do that we are making use of this function memset. So in the arguments first we will be passing the name of the array. So the name of array is bin. 
so i am passing bin first and after that we pass the value that needs to be set so we need to set all the integers to 0 so 0 and after that the size of array so k into size of int so what this function does is in the array bin it will set all the integers initially to 0 so that is what we needed so the memset function would do this and now we have to accept n integers so i'm creating a loop that iterates from 0 to n and in every iteration we will be accepting an integer so the accepted integer will be stored in the variable x so soon after accepting our input we are going to toggle the bits so we are not going to store the integer in an array so soon after accepting the value of the integer x we are going to perform the toggling operation as per the condition given in the question so we have to toggle from the xth index so in our array we are storing from the index 0 so i am creating a j loop that iterates from x minus 1 so that would be the xth index so this loop iterates till k and in every iteration of this j loop we will be toggling the bits so what we are doing is bin of j is equal to not bin of j so what we actually need to do is if the integer is 0 we have to make it as 1 if it is 1 we have to make it as 0 so here bin of j is equal to not bin of j so if it is 0 the not 0 will be equal to 1 the same if it is 1 not 1 will be equal to 0 so in every iteration of this j loop we will be toggling the bits so finally after the execution of the i loop the updated binary representation will be stored in the integer array named bin so now our task is to convert the binary representation into its decimal equivalent so to do that first i am creating two more integer variables named decimal and exponent and i am setting both of them initially to zero so here we have to iterate from last so i am iterating from k minus 1 till 0 and in every iteration i am decrementing the value of i and i am incrementing the value of exponent so in every iteration of this loop whenever the bit is equal to 1 we have to add 2 power exponent to our integer variable decimal so this is the formula for converting the binary into decimal so after the execution of this i loop we have our decimal value stored in the integer variable named decimal so finally after the execution of the loop we are printing the integer variable decimal so that would be our expected output so now let us check our program with sample test cases so i have given the sample input 2 and for sample input 2 our expected output is 86 so we also get 86 so now i am going to give the sample input 1 and for sample input 1 our expected output is 11 so we also print 11 so this is the logic behind today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching.